Hello everyone, so today we're going to show you how to use uh, your Nexus, either phone or tablet, to uh, take advantage of USB OTG or on the go. I got this cable from Amazon. You can get it from several places. Um, Amazon's probably the easiest one. They're cheap, less than five dollars. Some of them are a dollar. Uh, some of them are about ten, twenty bucks. It doesn't matter which one you get. Uh, you should check the reviews to see if it's compatible. Some cables are just faulty. Um, this one was only like two, three dollars. So once again, you don't have to go all crazy. Some of them are twenty bucks or more. It's ridiculous. Um, we'll use the Nexus first to show you how to. Uh, unfortunately, right now neither devices allow you to hook up USB. I tried it. I won't even waste my time here with it. The cool thing I've I found out that we can do that you can hook up your PlayStation controller to either device and you can play your PlayStation games. So I'll show it I'll show you how to do it on the Nexus, the Galaxy Nexus right now. Um, it's not on right now. I'm still connected to the PlayStation so you don't have to unsync it for some reason it's still you know if I turn it on it will be connected to the PlayStation but when you plug it in uh, it connects to the phone or tablet. So Obviously, you're looking for a micro USB to female uh, USB port. So we connect that. Okay. And when you connect the device, you'll see it light up for a few minutes, a few seconds, and then it's connected. And you can tell by. I don't even know if you can see it but either way it's connected. So I'm moving the controller and you can see it highlighted. So you can pretty much change, switch the screens back and forth. So I'm going to select Grand Theft Auto just to show you. Whoops, it's not Grand Theft Auto. I'll just show you one game on this on this and then I'll switch to able to skip with this controller so I am connected and you'll see that I'll whoops, go ahead. and this is without without rooting your device you'll need to root either Nexus 7 uh, Nexus 7 or Galaxy Nexus so as you can see I'm moving around and the buttons work just like on your PlayStation 2 triangle to enter the car and now I can drive much more No hiccups, no nothing. You're listening to head radio. Punch, do everything. Everything works properly. So I know the other games work as well. So I'm just gonna do a brief one on this because it's just a phone. The main thing is the tablet. So we're done with that. Once again, for you don't need to root your device. You don't need to download that uh, that app on the marketplace with access six access ah, six access controller. You don't need to do any of that. It's compatible right out of the box. Neither device are, is rooted. Okay, so see right now it's connected back to the PS3. So what I need to do is turn it off. There we go. Even though the PS3 is all the way upstairs, I know how to turn off the controller. So now it should be connected to this device. And it is, okay. 
so I'm moving back and forth without with the controller so I know that it's working so now I'm going to launch since we saw Grand Theft Auto already let's launch Max Payne see if that works let's see if I can get something to Okay, resume game. See, so the controller lets you allows you to use the menu screen as well. It's not just activated. So yeah, I'm connected. On the Nexus, for some reason, it's going to keep flashing, but that's all right. It's still working. What the hell? And I'm running around. And now the fighting is much easier. Controls are the same. It's not the greatest game, it's a dark game. Michelle! You know what? Let's use. We're back out of here. Let's use a more recent game. Like Dead Trigger. Let's see if that works. Once again, you guys do not have to waste your money in the marketplace buying those two uh, six, six axis. I don't know why I'm messing up on that word. Uh, app. You don't need to root your device. You don't have to do anything. So it works right out the box. Just make sure you get a cable. Make sure you read the reviews to make sure the cables work. Okay, so I am on this still. I should do much better than I did last time. should be a beast now. Told you guys that was good. Just not with touch screen. Look at that, that's record time, just off the controller. <laughs> it took about 30 seconds. Oops. So, as you can see, there's a difference using the controller versus uh, the touch screen. Alright, let's back out of here. People have also got, gotten this to work if you have the uh, Xbox 360 controller, which is my favorite controller to use in a way. Uh, I just don't have a wired one, so I wouldn't be able to get this to work. Um, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 1 just came out today, so you guys could check that out. Um, for an RPG, I guess, touchscreen doesn't really matter, I won't go into that, but you could use a controller for that. So there you have it, guys. PlayStation 3 controller will work. If you buy a cable from Amazon, just type in uh, USB OTG cable and it will come up and you'll get one for less than $5 and it will work. If you have any questions, just write below the video and I'll be happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.